Okay, so you already know how to play. Yeah. So we need to come up with some kind of a, a sign or a signal so that our opponents don't know that we have the five of a kind. So um, I was thinking something super simple. So our symbol, we're gonna have our cards. So once we have our five, we're just gonna go like something like something. So we'll just, just tap our nose. Super simple, super discreet, and then they won't know. Got it? Got it. What are, you, what are you doing? You said to give you the sign. I... No. This is not the sign. We discussed our sign earlier. Let's, let's reset and try again. What are you doing? I'm giving you the signal. You know, never mind. I'm just going to teach everybody else how to play taps. In the game of Tamps, you are playing with a partner and you are attempting to get uh, five cards all the same uh, symbol with uh, the five different colors in the game. And when you do, your uh, partner has to yell out Tamps and point to you. And that's why you got to have a, a secret signal between each other. So, for example, this is an example of a player having Tamps. You see there's a blue card with the triangle shaded in there the red triangle, the yellow triangle, the pink triangle, and the green triangle. Now they're all going to be triangles, but as you can see where the uh, part is that is filled in is all the same on all of these. And these are just the example cards showing me what the full game will probably look like when it is uh, fully published. But with my demo copy I just got uh, these cards which just generic cards in the background, but it is perfectly playable. But as you can see the, uh, the cards have different configurations on them, so sometimes uh, you'll think, oh, this is the card I need, and there'll be like a very subtle difference. So it is, it is very, very interesting where I've had it where it's like, oh, I, I need this, but I forgot one of the cards didn't have this line on the top. So it is, it is very, very interesting. So, to set up a game of Tamps, you're going to take all of the cards, of course, and you're going to give them a really good shuffle, and then each player is going to receive five cards. So, there's your starting hand of five cards, and then you're going to deal out cards to the uh, table, and these are going to be the table that people are, are picking from. You're going to do the number of players, so if we're playing a four-player game, you're going to put out four cards, and they always do plus one. So if you are playing a six-player game, you're going to pull six cards plus one, which would be seven. Then you just put the deck off to the side. Everybody grabs their cards. And then you say, one, two, three, go. And then everybody is now going to be swapping and pulling cards. So looking at what I have here. So I have a triangle with that. I have that funky kind of triangle. Uh, I have that looks like a Stargate, I have that, and I have that. So what I can do is I can be like, um, well, uh, let's see here, I don't want that, but I want that. Um, and then you will continue on. So when you're swapping out cards, you can pull a card and then put a card back. Or, if you want to, you can, um, you can put a card down 
and then pull a card. This is to ensure that you only have, you know, your hand of five cards. You can only have a minimum of four or a maximum of six in your hand at any point in time. This is just so that people don't be like, oh, well, I need all three of these, and I'm going to put these three down. See, that is an illegal move, and you can't do that. You have to be fair. So basically, it's a one-for-one one ratio when you're pulling the cards. So once you are able to have all five of your cards, all the same uh, shading in of the triangle, but all five different colors. So I have all the different colors, but obviously these are not the same uh, shading on them. But if I did, I would do my super secret uh, sign to my, my partner. And hopefully my partner's paying enough attention so that they will pick up on it and they'll yell tamps and they will point at me. Now, what happens then is you're going to go ahead and you're going to reveal your cards. And if you truly do have tamps, you will earn a point for your team. Now, one thing that's very interesting is you can be watching your opponents. And if you see them do something that you think might be the sign, or if you've been watching their cards, and you notice that they start pulling the same things, and they start kind of getting excited if they have really bad poker tells, you can yell tamps and point at them. If they have tamps, then your point, your uh, team gets the point. If they do not, then they receive the point, and you go ahead and reset and try another round. You'll go to a set number of points or a set number of rounds, however you want to, and that is the game of tamps. This program is part of the Pathological Nerdcasters Network. Find more at pncn.rocks where all the geeks come to play. So that is the game of Tamps. This game is very easy to learn. It's a super simple concept, but this game can be very, very tricky. You know, you are dealing with the chaos of, of pulling cards and everybody's doing it at the same time. So it's real chaotic. And you're looking at your cards, you're knowing what you can get. You get three of a kind, and then you're like, oh, well, I see, you know, two of the ones that I need that'll match my other two. So maybe I'll just abandon this three of a kind and you keep going. Um, if there's ever a point where the, uh, the cards that are laid out, nobody wants them, you go ahead and refresh them and you go one, two, three, go, and you, you start again until somebody has tamps. Um, one other thing is when you uh, start the game, you also look at the bottom card of the deck because that card is probably going to be very, very hard to get that symbol all five. So it's one to say, hey, this might not be a good idea. You guys don't look, don't look for this one. But as soon as you put it back down, guess what? Poof, and you forget. That's at least how I do. But if this looks like something that you'd be interested in, down below I'm going to have a link for their Kickstarter, so you can go ahead and check that out. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Please do not forget to like, share, subscribe, and help support Cloak and Maple. Right over there, you can click on my logo to subscribe to this channel. You can also click on the Patreon link to help support this channel. There's also a video down there that you might enjoy. Thanks.